first set up in St. Petersburg 23 years ago, the Acant employs around a thousand people. It's forged a name for itself as a top supplier of high-tech inspection and maintenance robots for the nuclear and oil and gas industries. The company has shipped around 20,000 pieces of equipment to 23 countries around the world. But the applications of its products aren't just limited to Earth. Diacont has even manufactured components for spaceship docking mechanisms and electromechanical fuel valves for launch vehicles. We caught up with the company's deputy director to find out more. The company's mission is to ensure complete control over manufacturing processes and high-tech product development. We have over 300 engineers and specialists who, from project scope, document drafting and process development and implementation, create the technology to make the product, which is then manufactured using the equipment located on our site here. It's then assembled, tested and delivered to client. One of the secrets behind the company's cosmic success is its expansive production facilities, which occupy around 5,000 square meters and continue to grow. Many of Diacon's products play a vital part in the safe operation of energy production facilities, so failure is simply not an option. So to ensure the quality of its equipment remains top-notch, the company has hand-picked the best tooling machines from suppliers around the world. While all this high-end machinery may cost a pretty penny, the full-cycle production means that the the company can design and build turnkey products at the drop of a hat. This ability has not only earned the company orders from the likes of General Electric, but also resulted in a rather motley crew. Since 2005, for the nuclear, oil and gas and space industries, Diacont has designed and assembled an entire family of robots and it continues to grow. The first generation includes a pipe inspection robot which uses ultrasound to check for defects, corrosion and other irregularities in high-pressure gas pipelines. This snake-like welding robot is designed for carrying out repairs inside nuclear reactors. The machine is radiation-proof, can slither through a gap the size of a matchbox and slinks along the walls magnetically. The company's remote inspection robot uses laser holographic technology to check the integrity of reactor seals to prevent any coolant leakage. Finally, one of the latest additions to the family checks the alignment of water pipes deep inside a nuclear reactor. If any repairs are required, a nifty mini robot can be deployed to attach a metal brace to the pipe. But even this high-tech family has relatively humble beginnings. We started off with special TV cameras capable of working in high radiation levels and underwater. They're used to control the technical processes associated with refueling nuclear reactors and the most important equipment of a nuclear power plant. Ordinary glass becomes tinted in a matter of seconds when exposed to radiation. So Diacont uses custom-made radiation-proof glass in its lenses, which are then assembled on site. For the camera itself, the company has gone back to basics using a black and white video camera tube, avoiding the use of complex chipsets and placing as much of the electronics as possible in a remote block well out of harm's way, while the red LEDs take advantage of the video tube's sensitivity sweet spot in the light spectrum. They're currently working on a colour version that works by flickering between red, green and blue and combining them to create a colour image. But whatever the product, testing is key. We test every component separately, as well as the parts of the final product and then the final product itself. We cooperate with a number of facilities that allow us to test them under intense gamma ray conditions. Some products undergo field testing at our clients' facilities. Diacont also has its own testing facilities, and we arrived just in time to see one of their latest gizmos strut its stuff. Gas compressor stations contain a whole tangle of pipes that can't be checked by the unfortunately named pigs or pipe inspection gauges. Diacont's explosion-proof robot, on the other hand, can move along even the most twisted of pipelines, thanks to its studded tracks that can push against the inside of the pipe with a force of 180 kilograms while its electromagnetic acoustic transducer, or EMAT, doesn't even require direct contact with the pipe. It detects microscopic defects and corrosion that could lead to massive problems down the line. It has a number of cameras for visual inspection and is in service in countries around the world. Compressor stations are frequently located in far-flung places inaccessible by standard transport means. So the company has converted a six-wheel drive CAMAS that can traverse even the most rugged terrain with ease and transmit all this data back to base with its satellite uplink. 
The technology being made today requires super precise components with impressive capabilities, but in limited quantities. Maximum a couple of hundred a year. The company plans to switch to mass production, which will mean different technologies and approaches, which is why we're building another factory. Diacon's attention to detail has secured it a place among the elite robotics companies of the world. It continues to strive to refine its designs and solve ever more complicated tasks. With its new production facilities just around the corner, I'm sure we'll be seeing much more of its high-tech helpers soon. So next time you turn on the TV or put the kettle on, spare a thought for the robotic team that help keep the energy workers safe and our homes warm.